Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video I will be talking about a farm that you can do solo and that can reward you with a lot of gold. So this farm will be taking place in the raid from the Burning Crusade, the Sunwell Plateau. And this is also something that you can do in other dungeons and raids from the Burning Crusade. But for this video I'm deciding to use the Sunwell Plateau as an example. But keep in mind that the items I'm going to talk about in today's video are things you can also get in all the different dungeons and raids from the Burning Crusade, especially you have Setex Owls, Shadow Labyrinths, Malatoms, and then of course you have Karazhan, uh, Black Temple, the Battle for Mount Ijol, and all these different things can work. But really, in my opinion, Sunwell Plateau is probably one of the easiest to do. So the items we are after in today's video are going to be uh, all the different patterns, the rare patterns for the different weapons uh, from the Burning Crusade, especially the ones from uh, Blacksmithing, but also the different recipes for lever working. The one especially we really want is going to be the Felsteel Long Blade pattern. So the Felsteel Long Blade pattern in itself can sell for more than like 700k gold on most realms. And then you can craft this really cool blade. And this blade can also be sold, as you can see, for like anywhere between like 30 to like 100k gold on most realms. And this is really something that sells all the time. And of course, you have like many other items, uh, many other recipes that you can get. And all of them can allow you to craft some of the very cool weapons and armor pieces from the Burning Crusade that can sell for a lot of gold. So really, what you can do with these patterns is either sell them on the auction house for a lot of gold or use them and then craft the items in order to make a lot of gold with the items you're crafting. Next to that, of course, we will also have a lot of the really cool weapons and transmog items that you can get uh, from the open world and from any type of mobs from the Burning Crusade. For instance, you have uh, the blaze, the blade of wizardry, and you have like over uh, weapons and transmog items that you can also make a lot of gold with. Another interesting item that you can actually get in this uh, raid and again, in many other raids and dungeons, are going to be the stoppable force. So these gray weapons, as you can see, are just normal gray weapons, but they are used in order to craft the Topaz Bubble Worm pet. So you can either sell them directly on the auction house, or you can simply use them and then either farm the rest of the materials or buy the rest of the materials on the auction house and then craft the Topaz Bubble Worm pet and sell it on the auction house. So Make sure when you are doing this farm to not sell these different maces at the vendor because these are definitely weapons you can make some gold with and so really try to avoid selling them on the auction house. Before I start explaining how you can do this farm, I just want to really insist on the fact that these different patterns are extremely, extremely rare. So. It's difficult to really say how many runs you will need and really if you can actually farm these different patterns because it's just so rare that it's mostly luck. Uh, of course, by doing this farm, you are increasing your luck, but it's still something that uh, you will only see after a lot, a lot of runs. So please, again, keep that in mind and don't try like two or three runs and then just give up. If you really want it, just try and at some point, maybe we'll be, we will be rewarded with these different patterns and especially the one for the Felsteel Long Blade. But keep in mind, it will take some time. So the farm is really easy. All you want to do is go here, gather all the mobs, take all the mobs that are in these different gardens, come here, just hide there, kill all the mobs you just gathered, and then you want to come back, exit, and reset. Like that, you can do it probably like uh, 10 times in like 20 minutes. And after that, you will probably have to wait for the instance to be available again. This is really something that should normally take you like two minutes, maybe by run, something like that. So it's extremely easy and something you can do extremely, extremely fast. So again, Druids and these different classes are definitely going to be faster, but you can normally do it in two minutes on most of your different classes. So really, really fast. There is another route uh, where basically once you've like killed all of them, you want to then go up and go all around, all around until that point. What I would recommend you to do is to avoid having to come back and then exit the dungeon, the raid. 
just when you are like uh, starting to go uh, on the stairs and starting to grow all the packs, try to join like a group in the different group search, especially the ones, for instance, for like uh, Zeret Mortis Rares. These ones are, always have a lot of people and they don't really care if you join and leave. Uh, so it doesn't really impact their gameplay. And so you just join it. And then in the middle, you just want to leave the group. And so like that, when you are done killing the mobs, Usually you will just be teleported outside of the raid and then you can go back to the raid and like that you like won't lose some time having to run back to the entrance and then reset the raid. So this is really something that I'm doing like uh, from times to times. Um, again, sometimes unfortunately I will really not get anything even after like an hour of farm. And sometimes I will get like some cool patterns and things like that. I never got the fell steel long blade patterns yet, uh, but I haven't farmed enough to get it. But I'm sure this is something that if you're doing it and you're a little bit lucky, you might be able to get it or maybe some other cool items. So that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. I really hope uh, you enjoyed. Also, keep in mind that really right now, again, with the region-wide auction house and all the different uh, commodities that are now extremely cheap, it's extremely easy to craft all these different items. And so this is why I think People will be willing to spend a lot of gold either on the plants or on the different like uh, yeah items that you can get from this uh, farm. And also yourself, you will be able to craft all the different items for a very cheap price. So for me, crafting is going to be really the next big thing at least uh, before the release of Dragonflight. And probably like new things are going to be introduced into the game. But really right now, this is what you should focus on. And this farm, in my opinion, is going to be really interesting. Also, why this farm is so good, in my opinion, is really because right now with the region-wide auction house and the fact that all the commodities are now extremely cheap, a lot of people are going to be interested in trying to craft all the different items that they can now craft for a very cheap price. And so I'm sure a lot of people will be trying to get these rare recipes from the Burning Crusade. So this is why, in my opinion, having them on the auction house will be really, really good. Also, keep in mind that when you have actually this uh, like recipe and you learn it, you can then craft all these different items for a very, very cheap price, and you can then make also a lot of money. So for me, this is definitely like a farm you should be doing right now, and definitely something that uh, you might make a lot of gold with. Right now, I still haven't gotten the like plans, uh, but this is something I need to do a little bit more, and then maybe one day I will be lucky enough to get it. So that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed, and yeah, I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.